The goal of this lecture is to talk about representations of functions as power series. Uh, this is section 11.9 of Stewart's book, and it's going to build on all of the power series material from section 11.8 that we talked about uh, last time. So our main example that we're going to start with and really emphasize is the example of geometric series. So we know that you can take 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed plus 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 all the powers of r. And this geometric series equals 1 over 1 minus r whenever this series converges. And when is this valid? This is valid when the absolute value of r is less than 1. So this is the idea here. Our first main representation of a function as a power series is the function 1 over 1 minus x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus plus plus. It's a sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. This power series is equal to this rational function whenever the power series converges. This is valid whenever the absolute value of x is less than 1. Or said another way, for which values of x does this power series converge? It's exactly x in its interval of convergence, this interval from minus 1 to 1 which has radius of convergence 1 half the size of the interval. So everywhere this power series converges, it's equal to the function 1 over 1 minus x. So what we're doing is we're writing this function as a power series, and they're equal everywhere the power series converges. So the idea of this lecture, the main idea, is we're going to use this first example to see lots of other examples. So we're going to use this example to get other power series. So let me give an example of what I mean. So let's do our, start our, our next topic, which is variations of this example. So let's start by saying that we want to write 1 over 1 plus x squared as a power series. What does it mean to write a function as a power series? Is we want to find some power series, and everywhere that that power series converges, we want it to be equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. So our strategy here is pretty simple, is we're going to write this function that we want to write as a power series, 1 plus x squared, 1 over x, sorry, 1 over 1 plus x squared as 1 over 1 minus something. So this is the key idea here. We're going to rewrite this as 1 over 1 minus something. Well, how do we do that? 1 over 1 plus x squared is equal to 1 over 1 minus minus x squared. So if we now just take minus x squared and plug it in for x here, if we do something like, say, y equals minus x squared, then what we have here is 1 over 1 minus y equals 1 plus y plus y squared plus plus plus. This is a sum from n equals 0 to infinity of y to the n, or you can just write it as minus x squared to the n. But what is that? Well, sum n equals 0 to infinity minus x squared, you get a minus 1 to the n times x to the 2n. So this power series is equal to the function 1 over 1 plus x squared everywhere that this power series converges. So when does this power series converge? Well, a power series. Uh, you, you could do it like we've been doing this before, but just knowing when the geometric series power series converges is going to tell us when this power series converges also. So we're looking at this example of 1 over 1 plus x squared. We write that as 1 over 1 minus something. This power series, 1 over 1 minus x, can be written as a sum of x to the n whenever the absolute value of x is less than 1. So the same thing is true here. 
that this one over one minus something can, can be written as the sum of powers of that something whenever that absolute value of your thing is less than one. So this power series expansion is valid when the absolute value of minus x squared is less than one. But what is the absolute value of minus x squared? Well, you put it in an absolute value sign and the minus goes away. x squared is always greater than or equal to zero. So this is valid when x squared is between zero and one. And when is x squared between zero and one? That's the same as saying x is between minus one and one. So another way to say this is this is valid when x is in the interval from minus one to one. And this power series is not going to converge at either of these endpoints for the same reason that the geometric series power series doesn't converge at either of those endpoints. So how do you write one over one plus x squared as a power series? You first rewrite it as one over one minus something. You get a power series. And then that power series is going to converge whenever this absolute value of something in your one over one minus something is less than one. So I'm going to pause and erase, and we'll do one more example. In the last example of this video, we want to write 4 over 4 plus x squared as a power series. So I'll point out that this is actually a question from a final exam from a Math 2B section from a few years ago. So this is the kind of thing you might see on an exam. So the idea is going to be the same as the idea uh, from before. So what we want to do is write 4 over 4 plus x squared as 1 over 1 minus something. So how do we do that? I mean, we have a 4 plus x squared in the denominator instead of a 1 plus x squared. So let's deal with that first. 4 plus x squared. If we want this 4 to be a 1, we should factor out a 4. So we have 4, 1 plus x squared over 4. These 4s now cancel, and this is 1 over 1 plus x squared over 4, which we can rewrite as 1 over 1 minus minus x squared over 4. So thinking of this as 1 over 1 minus something, some y, what is y equal to is minus x squared over 4. So we can write this as a sum from n equals 0 to infinity of y to the n, whatever this 1 minus something is. So we get minus x squared over 4 to the nth power. And we can rewrite this a little more nicely. So sum n equals 0, infinity. This minus 1 to the n, we can factor out. Minus 1 to the n. We get an x to the 2n. And then we're dividing by 4 to the n. So this power series is equal to this function wherever this power series converges. We can figure out for which values of x does this power series converge by uh, you know, doing the ratio test just like before. But we can also see it directly just like we did up here by knowing where the geometric series converges. So this is going to be valid for this 1 over 1 minus something. We need the something to have absolute value less than 1. So it's valid whenever the absolute value of x squared over 4 is less than 1. Well, what is the absolute value of x squared over negative x squared over 4? It is x squared over 4. That's always positive. So it's between 0 and 1, which is the same as saying that x squared is between 0 and 4, which is the same as saying x is between minus 2 and 2. So to use this interval of convergence notation, this is valid whenever x is in the interval from minus 2 to 2, this interval of convergence. And here we can think of that as a power series centered at 0. So it's 0 minus r, 0 plus r 
the radius of convergence of this power series is two. So in the next videos, we'll see how to start from this geometric series idea and see even more examples of functions that we can represent using power series.